So you might be considering selling something online, whether that's a product, a physical product, like a consumer good, a service, a digital product, but you're considering, you know, should I sell this on WordPress or should I sell this on Shopify? In this video, you're gonna learn some of the important differences between the two and which platform is right for your business. What's up guys, I'm Andy, you're watching Learn How, and I help people learn how to use technology to build an online business and create a life of freedom. I wanna quickly give a comment shout out to Mary. Mary, thank you for leaving a comment on one of my videos. I really appreciate it. Every week I'm giving away an Amazon gift card. So if you do like this video, hit the thumbs up for me, leave a comment for me. It can be a question, it can be your feedback on the video. I love to get to know you and what you're trying to accomplish a little bit better. So if you're selling a product online, you're gonna obviously need a website. There's a lot of different platforms out there for building websites. The most popular probably being WordPress. But depending on what your business model is, WordPress might not be the best option for you to sell stuff online. So let's talk a little bit really quickly about the differences between the two. What is WordPress? WordPress is a CMS platform, it's open source, meaning it's free for anyone to use to build a website. Now you do have to pay a hosting provider to host your website online. The number one method that I recommend to bloggers out there, people who want a website and blog about something, is to start a WordPress website with SiteGround. And I talk all about it here on my website that is built on WordPress called learnhowblogging.com, so I teach you the step-by-step -step way to get that set up. Like I said, this is very good for people who want to do a lot of blogging, meaning they're writing a lot of articles. You can see right here on my website, I've got a lot of blog articles that I come out with uh, on a weekly, daily basis that talk about a different, you know, technical aspect to help you build your online business. So if you are gonna be doing a lot of blogging like this, then WordPress is a great platform for you. Now you can sell products through a WordPress website using a plugin or app called WooCommerce uh, that you can build product pages and sell products. I don't highly recommend using WooCommerce if you're gonna be doing a lot of product base sales. So if you're gonna sell a lot of physical products, I would recommend going with Shopify. Now let's talk a little bit about Shopify. What is Shopify? Shopify is a e-commerce platform that is specifically built for people who are wanting to sell a lot of physical products. It is the number one platform that I recommend if you wanna do a drop shipping store. I actually built a drop shipping store where I sold fishing lures and I actually sold that store last year. But if you do wanna get into drop shipping, I do have some other videos on my channel that talk about it, but Shopify is the best platform for that. But if you do just have a physical product that you wanna sell personally, Shopify is a great way to do that. It's very simple on their platform to create new products, add products, add categories, create product pages, uh, create a home page and about page, the basic pages of an e-commerce store. Now Shopify probably isn't, you know, the best platform for building, you know, like a blogging type of website. So if you are gonna be doing a lot of blogging, it might be better to go the WordPress route. But if you do just wanna sell physical products, so let's say, you know, I wanna sell uh, cereal bowls and I'm just gonna sell cereal bowls, I'm not gonna write blog articles about it, I just wanna sell cereal bowls, then I would recommend using Shopify because you can create easily create product pages, you can easily accept payments, you can easily manage shipping and all that sort of stuff, all right here within the platform. So right here, like I could add a product, I can choose the type, the vendor, I can add it to collection, I can add pricing. It's very, very straightforward with Shopify. And like I said, it's very straightforward to uh, manage orders, uh, get paid. You, you can connect your account with Stripe, with PayPal, with all sorts of payment providers. It's a very secure way to run an e-commerce store. So I've got a link below this video that will take you to Shopify. There's a free 14 day trial if you wanna you know, start an account like this and check it out and see if it is something that you'd be interested in doing. Like I said, if you do wanna sell a physical product, I highly recommend Shopify. Now, if you wanna sell digital products, if you wanna sell courses, if you wanna sell eBooks, if you wanna sell consultations or you know, uh, trainings, I don't know, anything that can be done digitally, I would recommend going the WordPress route. It's gonna be a lot simpler for you, uh, lower cost for you, and you can integrate it a lot easier to deliver you know, digital products, uh, depending on what type of digital product you're selling. 
So yeah, if you're, if you're gonna sell physical products, I'd stick with Shopify. If you're gonna sell digital products, I'd just stick with WordPress. Even if you're not gonna be blogging, uh, building a, a simple WordPress site is gonna probably be a lot more cost effective for you. Now there are instances where you could consider having both a WordPress website and a Shopify store. If you are selling some sort of uh, physical product or maybe you're selling digital products and physical products and you're blogging. So the thing that comes to mind for me is fitness and health. So there's a lot of you know fitness providers out there or uh, fitness instructors who let's say maybe they have a video course uh, that's digital product and then maybe they have like a free guide that they're giving away but then they're also selling their own supplements or they're selling like merchandise t-shirts that kind of stuff but then they're also doing a weekly blog where they are blogging about you know different health and exercise type of things that's an instance where you might want to consider using WordPress and Shopify and you can connect the two with your domains. That's a little bit more technical, but you can, you know, connect the two and have them kind of seamlessly work together for you. So you can have like a storefront and then more of a website blogging front. Like I said, you can get started with Shopify with a free 14 day trial. There's a link right below this video to help you get that. And if you are wanting to go the WordPress route, like I mentioned over here on my site, we're uh, learnhowblogging.com. There's step-by-step -step instructions to help you get set up with my recommended web uh, method of building a website. Uh, so you can use this to you know sell digital pro products or start a blog or anything like that. All right, guys, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up for me. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what questions you have. Maybe what you're trying to do, what you're trying to sell. I can try to help uh, give some feedback in the comments below. I'd love to get to know you, what you're trying to accomplish better. Like I said, I'm Andy. I'm here to help you learn how to use technology to build an online business. We'll see you in the next video.